Welcome to Hope of Glory Ministries. I'm Pastor Sandra Campbell. Today we are filming from the downtown area of historic Montgomery, Alabama. I have just left Court Square Fountain at the end of the road where in the 1800s stood a slave auctioning block. Well, after the Civil War was over in 1865 and President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation freeing the slaves, it wasn't long after that that the city would decide to demolish the auctioning block. Well, they had a pile of discarded bricks and we know that those former slaves um, decided to take those bricks, brick by brick, stone by stone, to the end of the road um, and erect a church. So the blocks that once stood as a dehumanizing factor in their lives became a house of worship and a house of prayer. And uh, they named it Dexter Avenue Baptist Church. Well, fast forward a hundred years um, we find that a man by the name of Martin Luther King Jr. led the bus boycott which ended oppression in the South and the cradle of the Confederacy, which is what the South had been known for, became the birthplace of the civil rights movement, yes. And so I would like to speak to you from the subject Matthew 21 verses 1 through 17 and when they came to the end of the road they laid their coats in the road and they began waving palm branches saying Hosanna to the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord you know I don't think it was any mistake that Martin Luther King Jr.'s last name was King because I believe that we just need to see the plan of God in this whole thing. Um, God wanted you to know who had sent this man of God, this prophet of God, who would lead his people out of oppression. I wrote this book, Sanctuary and Asylum, in 2014. And uh, in the center of it, you will see the very church behind me. And it talks about the civil rights movement and, and how it all came about and how it was organized and run. But anyway, I would like to discuss with you the fact that you should never throw all of your history away. Always save a stone. So they carried these stones, the bricks that they used to build this church from all the way down there at the Court Square Fountain where an auctioning block for slaves once stood to this location here at the other end of Dexter Avenue Baptist Church where they erected a church, a house of prayer and a house of God. So from their history, from the shame, from the hurt, from the pain of it all, they now rejoice Sunday after Sunday for Jesus is the rock of their salvation. He became their chief cornerstone and their reason for praising, you know, not crying over a history that enslaved them. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who led the civil rights movement, said that with this faith, we can hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. So next time, don't throw all of your history away. Save a stone. God bless.